So you want to play H2M mod with bot support and progression turn on because you probably had a shitty connection like me or you just prefer to play alone. Well, I can help you with that. So first things first, all you gotta do is click on the link down in the description below. It will give you this page right here and all you gotta do is just click code and then download zip. And once you download it, you get all these three files right here, main, readme, and server bat. You just gotta go back to your Modern Warfare Master folder. This is where you have your H2M mod files right here. And all you gotta do is just drag all three of these files into the folder and then replace it. Like, I already have it so I can replace it, but if you don't have that, it's totally fine as well. Um, now the first thing you gotta do is you go to the server bat, you right click and then click edit. And over here, this is where you should change something. You just change these thing right here because if you just run it, it will just show uh, run the H1 mod and you don't want that. So you click edit and then you change it to H2M dash mod. There you go. You save. Done. Now, the next step, you go to the main and then you click the server config because what one of the three files that you have is literally main and in there is server config right so now you click on here this is where you should set up your own server you can set up the name um, the setting and all of that so I'm sure you guys will be confused why does H1 why well, it's not H2 mod or whatever um, H2M um, this still runs on the same basis so don't worry so for example I'm gonna do bots progression server I know it's such a lame name, but this is just this is just for the tutorial. Um, now you go like after you set up your server name, or if you don't really care about that, just scroll to the very bottom. This is where you can see the game type code. The DM is deathmatch, war is for team deathmatch, and etc. Um, and then for maps, you have these right. This is for Modern Warfare remastered maps. But if you want the Modern Warfare 2 maps, um, you go back to your Modern Warfare Remastered folder and you go to H2M user maps. This is where the names of the uh, multiplayer maps that you can load in and play. Uh, so you go back to the server config, um, you go to this very bottom, set SV map rotation, blah blah blah. Um, only change the ones that you want so for example I want to play on team deathmatch right so I type um, war and then I'm gonna change the map I'm gonna type MP terminal um, because I have the map terminal downloaded already so you can also just use any of the names as well if you want to play on those maps so now once you're done, for ex this is just for a test, that's it. Um, you can also change the settings, so for example you want to make the, uh, the score limit to 150. You can just press space and then do scr slash war underscore, it's not slash sorry, underscore, and then score limit and then you type to for example 1000, okay? Uh, well, 1000 is uh, a little bit too much, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Now you can press close, save, don't forget to save, and there you go. Now all you gotta do is just run the server bat. Okay? Now I know it says H1 mod dedicated server will load, blah blah blah, but it's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Just let it be. You know, just let it load. It's going to take a while for it to load every single of the H2M files into the server. So it's going to take a while before you can actually play. Like maybe in like another 3 minutes. So like I said, it's just going to take a while and you should be fine. So while waiting, I'm just going to speed up the... Uh, the video so you can see that I'm not gonna cut it 
to, you know, like, show that, oh, I cut it and you can't run it because I have a hidden setting or whatever. No, it's, that's not how it works. Yeah, so just let it load. It's going to take a while before you can actually play. So now, once you get, yeah, uh, now, once it shows you the bot's progression server, that shows that that is your server, and now you can play it. So now you double click on H2M mod EXE. Now this is going to take another two minutes because it has to load again all of the uh, Modern Warfare 2 files to load into the game. So, yeah. Now again, I'm going to speed up so you guys don't really have to wait. And I'm not going to even cut anything. Don't worry about it. So now once you're here, all you gotta do is just wait for a while, click play online, and now it's going to connect to online services, and yeah. Now once you're in this page, just wait for your character to load up, and this is when the thing starts to be fun for you. Um, as you can see that my score is literally zero because I reset, the, reset my stats, and now the next thing you gotta do is just press tilt or you know just underneath your escape um, key or just turn on the console command or console whatever you want to call it um, you type connect and then you connect to your own IP address because that is where your server is located um, because you know you create your own server and in order to find out your IP address it's better for you to have Ratmin or if you know how to identify your own IP address, that is better as well. That is way better. So yeah, uh, put your IP address after connect and then you connect to your server. Now, there's another step that you should know. Once you're in your own server, bots will not spawn and I, know, and I will show you how to spawn them. So now just pick on any um, you know, class you want, and as you can see, I have zero progression, I have zero XP for now, and there's no players, there's no bots. And what you gotta do now is that instead of using the console here to spawn bots, it will not work, okay? See, it will not work. What you gotta do is you go to the bots progression server, or whatever name you put, right? Whatever server name that you put here. This is where you spawn the bot, and you can just do it as many as you want. As you can see, the bots are now spawning. And now, let's see if, if I kill someone, it actually rank up. Uh, if only the bots will actually show up, you know. Now you, now you can see the XP is actually going up, and now I'm actually leveling up. And yep, that that works right so good for you uh, now I'm going to show you something else um, let's say you don't like the timer you can see the timer there it's 629 now right you can change the timer by going back to the bots progression server command prompt this is where you change your game settings or whatever you want you can also do it in your um, in your server config um, but if you want to make it, if you want to, uh, if you want to, uh, I don't know how to say it, but if you want to apply it immediately, you can just go to this bot progression server. For, so for example, like SCR, right? Usually it's always SCR and then underscore war and then underscore time limit. Um. Uh, now let's. Why can't press M for some reason? That's so weird. Uh, let's uh, give it like a thousand um, minutes or seconds. I don't know. So I know. There you go. Now the time has changed. So that's how you change your uh, timer. You can also change the score as well. For example, I want to make the score to only thirty. So we're gonna lose. Okay. So score limit 30, I don't know who's gonna win. Come on, just one more kill. There you go, done. Um, but yeah, this is where you change your game settings if you want. Um, there's a bunch of uh, codes that I can 
show uh, in the description below that you want to change but if you don't know how to change it it's actually pretty easy um, it's already in the server config so all you got to do is just you know double click server config and it should show you which one you can change here for example like this one uh, SCR DM score limit SCR DM time limit SCR uh, play respawn doesn't really matter you know who cares about that so yeah you can actually change it here um, but if you you know like I said if you want to make it if you want to apply it immediately like you can see the timer there is 999 right and I want to let's say I want to get um, just one kill so the score limit is let's say two all right so you will win after you get two kills and again after a new game there's no bots and you have to spawn them again I know it's a little bit annoying but hey it's better to do this than not having bots at all am I right so now we just gotta get two kills or the enemy get two kills and we win so one and then where's the other one and two there you go so yeah and also I forgot to mention that uh, the max bots you can have is 17 um, excluding you so technically the max players you can have is 18 but um, you know the more bots you have the game's gonna feel a little bit laggy it's not really laggy it's more like um, a little bit delayed but you know maybe it's just my PC maybe for your PC is better and you can like run with max bots um, but yeah I really hope this guide helps you uh, if it does leave a like and comment that you know just comment that hey it helps uh, you know and if you guys have questions just let me know and I'll try my best to help even though I can't guarantee I'm the solver for all these because I'm trying to explore this myself and again this game was just been cease and desist by fucking Activision so I really hope anyone who watched this guide or video here please comment fuck Activision like seriously fuck Activision for canceling or sending cease and desist for this awesome mod like I know I just played this mod for like three hours now but this is literally the dream for almost every Call of Duty players out there and having them to cease and desist uh, like the devs is so horrible so um, I want to shout out to Watchful, Watchful Wolf and also the others for making this. This is really awesome. Um, I'm really glad you guys managed to make it until like you know pre-release. It's just sad to see that you know they eventually just decided to not let us have fun. So yeah, fuck you, Activision. Seriously, fuck you. Anyway, I really hope this guy really helps you guys and if it does um, Have fun and I'll see you guys on the next video or maybe not. So bye-bye